Hi, 730. It's Saturday. Today I'm wearing my space boots and my half lip print sweater and my Dolly Parton hat because they make me feel better about life. By the way, I have determined that my microphone is just bad, so maybe if I talk farther away or if I talk differently, it'll be better, but I'm not sure. The reason I have to wear this get up is obviously because it makes me feel better about my life, as I have said moments ago. Um, but I'm in one of those places where you know how life, like, just. I don't know, things just like pile on top of your shoulders. And it's like, Dane Cook, I mean, I'm, I'm watching a lot of Dane Cook, you know. Dane Cook tells me this is when the best solution is just to cry about it for a little bit and you'll feel better. And obviously, I know that's the truth because, you know, Dane Cook said it. Not really like, not that I don't cry, but uh, I am not really a person to like cry about my own life a lot just because it makes me feel weird like I'm supposed to be like I'm like I'm supposed to be stronger about it or something like a couple minutes ago like 10 minutes ago I almost like just freaking lost it like this close I'll tell you exactly what happened because for some reason just a bunch of you know just like things pile up on your life and you're like shit just piss you off so I went downstairs a few minutes ago to get breakfast bref, bre breakfast or something and I got like a some yogurt and a cup with some fruit and things like that and some juice and as soon as I was like turning around to leave like cause I purchased it I dropped all of it on the ground like it just fell out of my hands and at first I mean I like to see you know the good side and everything and at first I thought it was gonna be a little bit funny cause I was like well shit you know and clumsy old Sarah but then I don't know, people were all stupid about it, and they were, like, all looking at me, and then someone was like, did that girl just drop that? And then I was just like, no, I just, no, they just fucking appeared right there, and that's actually the way they built the building. No, actually, you know, you dropped that. You came over here, and you dropped it. You don't remember? It was the stupidest question ever, and I was so annoyed. And then the people that, and it wouldn't even, it would not have even been that weird if everyone didn't make it so weird. They, like, act like I needed to be all embarrassed about it, so then I just felt like shit because I dropped something on the ground. It's, like, not my fault that gravity exists. It's not my fault. And then the people that worked there were like, oh, no, we'll clean it up. It's fine. It's fine, because I cleaned up quite a bit of it. And then they were like, no, we'll clean it up. And I was like, okay. And then I just grabbed my keys and my water bottle, and I just, like, left. Like, because everyone was staring at me, and they were all stupid. And I just left. And, like, when I was walking up the stairs, I was, like, so close to crying. Like, my eyes watered up a little bit, but I didn't cry. It'll happen eventually, I'm sure. But anyway. Mallory asked what our favorite Harry Potter movie was, I believe. Before Half Foot Prince came out, when I was having a bad day, I used to put in um, <clears throat> Goblet of Fire. I guess I like to rate them by like how funny they are. So I used to put in Goblet of Fire and watch it because it's comedy gold. It's just it's it is funny that part where he <laughs> where he's all like in that couch and he's holding his egg. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so funny. Or when um, Seamus has Potter written on his forehead. Oh, that stuff's funny. It's funny stuff. And and B. And B, um, Cedric Diggory is hot. So, you know, there is that. But now we have Half Blood Prince. And that, that is also very funny. And uh, I say it was the easiest for me to like Half Blood Prince because I usually just hate them. Like, I usually just hate them, but it was easiest for me to like Half Blood Prince. And Slughorn is hilarious. <laughs> There's that part where he's like, All hands on deck, Granger. That's just brilliant. Like, who wrote that? Because I'd like to congratulate them on kicking ass. I'd probably say Half Blood Prince also, because I like the way the film is edited. I like the lighting, weirdly enough, but, and I just, I think, like, all, 
of Draco's scenes are just really haunting. Like, just the way that he's kind of there throughout the movie, but it's just, like, no words. And I don't know. It's really put together really beautifully. And then James asked, the saddest part in all the books that is not a death. I'm not really sure if these count. They're tied into death, but they aren't a death. Not when Sirius dies, but right after when he's in Dumbledore's office. That moment when he says, that moment when he says he didn't, when the words, are, I believe it says he didn't want to be Harry anymore or he couldn't stand being Harry anymore. That on for like, until like the end of the book is just like, When he's walking into the forest, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That entire scene, just from like when he decides what he's going to do, from when Voldemort talks till he gets in there, like that whole thing is just like so many tears. The uh, last one would be the end, for obvious reasons. The funniest parts, I could not possibly remember all of the funny things that happened ever, but I remember when I was reading them. I thought when Malfoy gets turned into a fair, it was just brilliant. I used to think that, like, Sir Cadigan, was that his name? That's what we named my friend's car afterwards, so I hope that's how you say it. I thought that he was just funny as shit. Like, he was funny. He was one of my favorite good characters, like, on the good side. Him and Peeves, like, pretty much every moment with them is funny. That's, that is really all the funny stuff that I could point out at the moment. But certainly, there are many, many more. Funniest and saddest are just not things that you can apply to this because it's not like you can pick them out, but those are some to mention. I found this dollar theater about an hour away that is still playing Cirque du Freak. So I'm going to go do that now, and I will see you guys there.